Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What did you YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back. Today on deck we have another quiz. This time we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at future. So if you guys are interested in this one, this one's gonna be pretty dope. I am a big, big future. Uh, well, I don't think it's only future. I think future and Young Thug kind of created this sound, and it's being developed a lot more in Atlanta. Everybody's super creative there, and I just like the whole Atlanta sound. But future is definitely one of the OGs of the Atlanta wave. So. I'm very excited, and I'm very excited to be doing this one itself. I'm glad they put this out. I think they put this out two days ago. Awesome vibe. Shout out to them. The original video will be in the description below. So, yeah, if you're a future fan, you must pass this quiz. Wake up, take a sip of Ace and Spade like it's water. That's low life with um, The weekend. I've been on the molly in the sands with your daughter. What is Future's real name? Nevadius Damon Wilburn. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, yeah, there you go. Bow. Hello. I'm gonna tell you guys off the bat. I don't know his. I don't know his. Uh, I don't know his birthday at all. I just don't. Future got a stage name out performing with which collective? The Dungeon Family. Actually, pretty good at this one. Six nine didn't go as well. He was born in Atlanta. I don't even have to take a second guess. You can see he was born. You gotta take a look at Future and know he was born in Atlanta. That one's not that bad. Guess the song in one second. That's uh, Stick Talk. That stick talk, that stick talk. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. I don't know. I don't know his birthday. I was going to say November 4th, so I would have got it wrong either way. It's hot in my room, so my nose is sweating. I didn't know that Future's fans were referred to as anything. I just, that sounds stupid. Future Hive? I, that sounds pretty stupid. That's my bad. <laughs> Pluto was released in, ooh. I wanna say it was April 2012. You see, you see, there you go. You get money, they started hating. That's not a mask off. I don't think it's mask off. It's gotta be Bugatti. Which Ludacris song did Future co did Future co write? Oh, I don't know this one. I don't know this one. I'll I'll say Blueberry Yum Yum, but I don't know. Uh, Splash Waterfall. You know what? That sounds about right. Just by the sound of it, that sounds about right. Can they play a snippet? Are they gonna play a snippet? They don't. Before I was teaching, he was known as, yo, uh, I, it's either Meathead of the Connect or Meathead Connection. I know I have to pick one, but it's like, uh, I think it's Meathead of the Connect. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, yo, I remember seeing the, 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 the XXL freestyle with him on it. Percocets, Molly Percocets, ah, mask off. Baby. Molly Percocets. Purchase it. Future is heavily influenced by Jimi Hendrix, which is why he is commonly referred to himself as Future Hendrix. Future known to play which musical instrument? I actually don't know. If anything, I would say violins, but I didn't, I haven't. Oh, keyboard. It'd be awesome to see him in the studio, like messing with his keyboards, trying to find that like that nice flow in the back. That'd be dope. Guess the music video with mosaic effect. I don't watch very many Five, videos. Four, three, 
Oh, oh, I know this one though, I think. I think I know this one. Uh, nope, no I don't, because I don't know the songs, the, the songs. I think it's, it might be Trap Niggas, I, I'm not sure, but I, I'm not gonna even claim to know this one off the top. Oh, but it was. I thought it was Layup. That's what I thought originally. The Future, future contributed to which 2004 Ludacris song? Not sure. But there's only two options, so it's 50-50. We're gonna say, uh, I said Blueberry Yum Yum earlier. So I was technically right on that one. I was technically right on that one. Guess the song in four seconds, reverse. Uh, oh, where your ass was at? Where you at? There you go. That was the song. That's the song. Dude, why are those so easy for me? I don't know why. I don't know why those are easy for me. As a kid, he learned the lyrics to all of two short songs. I feel like that would be the uncommon one, then, because Future's a real like I was about to say, yeah, Future's a real uncommon type of person. So I would imagine it would that would have been one that was it just made sense. Guess the song by the beat. Oh, that one's this one might be hard. Let's see. Well, that's fuck up some commerce. I, if the, unless that's not on the list. But yeah, there it is. There it is. Yep, that's fuck up some commas. Yeah. On July 2015, Future came up with his new successful album. 15th. Is, was that DS2? I think that was DS2. See, I told y'all. Y'all didn't believe me. Y'all. You see? Future's Evo was premiered with which DJ? Metro Boomin, because DJ Esco was, uh, Esco Terrestrial. What? That was DJ Cal- See, I didn't know that. That's good, that's good information, because I didn't actually know that one. Like, I, I felt like it was Metro Boomin, because that felt like the whole time period, but that was weird, because I don't remember, I don't remember hearing DJ Khaled scream his name on that track. Which Drake song did Future say he inspired? You know, I've never heard that Drake song before. I was That's an interesting fact, too. I've never heard that song before. Oh, used to this. Drop it. Whoa. Future's been shot where? He's been refer he's referred to it and been shooting it in the back, been shot in the back. So I don't know. Okay, yeah, because I, I remember him referring it to a song and like uh, where he referenced uh, "Boys in the Hood." So I didn't know if that was in a, that was like homage to his own you know time for being shot. So I didn't know that one. I actually didn't know he got shot in the hand. So that's I'm gonna go research more info on that. But uh, we did a lot better in this one than we did in the six nine one. So I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about this. Hopefully they release a young thug one because that one we're just going we're gonna have to just ball on that one. That one's dope. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys leave in the comment section how many guys you guys got right. Uh, I don't you know last time I made one of these I meant to go in and do the whole letter grade thing and then do the whole like but that was so much extra. I just had a lot of fun. So tell me what your favorite part was guys in the comment section below. What, what question you guys kind of stumbled on. Those are good ones too. Make sure you guys leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this content and make sure that you guys also click that sub button and that bell if you guys are interested sure in seeing more like of this. Leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single upload.